Nein. I, I, I. I, I, I. <lacht> the game is called uh, The game is called Dordoin. Everything that you see from what I from what I've read, everything you see here is hand painted and scanned. And then animated. Like everything is hand painted, not even like digital painted. Let's see what this game is. New game. your first memory mine mine is somewhere in the last few months before my 13th birthday whatever happened before is gone forever gone My name is Mimi. <sighs> this dream again. My head hurts, and so does my back. Where's my phone? Must be dead. Your mother is worried sick. Oh god. Of course it's Dan. As if you weren't. Not far from Dodoyan. Almost at house. <laughs> Quickly, for once, let's see what he has to say. What are you hoping to achieve? You know what I want. I want to clear the house out. Nora left me a box. Memories. I need to find out more. It's not even an android. <laughs> I need to do this. I need to find answers. I don't want to fight with you. Don't want to fight with you. Everything has to be a fight with you. Everything is a fight because you think you are some kind of general. It doesn't matter. The removals, the removals people are coming on Friday to get rid of all the junk. Do what you want, but you can't change the past. Hmm, this isn't going to be easy. Come on, Mimi, you can do it. I should stop answering for now, or else he will keep sending messages until I come home. In the same week, I lost my job and my grandmother Nora died, and I got my hands on two letters. Dear Fabrice, I am writing to let you know that I am that in accordance with your mother's will and your recent phone call, the Dodoyan house will be emptied next week. I would like to express how deeply sorry I am for your loss. 
Nora was a friend of mine, and I hope you don't mind me saying, but despite your differences, I know you are I know you cared as much for her as she cared for you. Please let my office know if you change your mind regarding the sale of the house. Given the current state of the market, I have no doubt you will find a buyer before December. But a property like this should stay in the family. You will find it in you will find in this envelope, envelope a few words addressed to your daughter. Thank you for giving it to her directly. With most sincere condolences, Simon Lang Lang Lois Yao. Alright. Yeah, I saw this letter from Dad. He was never going to tell me about Nora, about my own grandmother. But the other message, that was the biggest surprise. This gets sick of years. Well, I just want to change it up a little bit again. Dear Mimi, this letter will come as a surprise to you. Your father decided to cut ties with me 20 years ago. A choice I understood, but never accepted. This letter is about goodbyes. I will be gone by the time you read it. I've left something for you in my house. A box of memories and a letter. I hope you like to play and explore as much as you did the last time you visited Dordania. It's got Dordania, Dordania, right? Forever with you. I can't, I can't speak French. I don't know how it's pronounced. I don't remember this place. I've been here before, but I don't remember anything. I wonder if... Would they hide the key somewhere? I can see something in the letterbox. A key! Someone must have dropped it in there. Let's empty that letterbox. That's, that's a really good deal if you need a power saw. Someone lost their cat. October 1st, 2002 to Nora's family. I just heard about Nora's passing and I want to share with you my deepest sadness. The whole town shares your pain and we hope you will find peace in knowing how much good Nora did since she moved to the region in the 50s. Our most sincere condolences. Can't get my fingers through the opening, but the letterbox is loose. I think I can just lift it and shake it. Damn, the key is stuck at the bottom of the letterbox. Let's see if I take the back of the letterbox. All right. Thankfully, I had a screwdriver in the car. It's too hot. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Tavi. Hope you can cool down a bit. 
Got it. Let's grab that key. <laughs> okay. Now I'll be able to open the door. Not to the house. Wow, I'm shaking. It fits. Here we go. I don't remember anything about this place, yet this house feels like home. Too bad I can't see a thing. Find some light to look around in the house. Yeah, you are. Key check. Light check. Next goal, uh, the box Noah left for me. Stop talking to yourself, Mimi. Wait, this pen. Wait. This pen? I knew you would find it right away. Yours truly, Nora. I spent the summer writing with this. Writing in my... Wait, I, I remember. And make sure she brushes her teeth. She's always trying to get out of doing it. Fabrice, I know how to bring up a child. I'm glad she's here with me. We'll have fun, the two of us. That was before we moved to the States. 1982, I think. We have to go now. Mimi? Mimi! Yes? Say goodbye. That's a nice place, though. Paul, uh... <laughs> Come on, let's get your suitcase to your room. Whatever, okay. This is going to be a long summer. Can I go out again? No. I got a sticker, okay. What am I doing here? shouldn't be in here. The game actually looks nice, to be honest. It looks very unique. Hello. Ah, why do I have to do it now? Let me open it. 
There you go. So. Ma wait. Protective mom. Always protecting me as of a as of my baby. Tiring dad. Dad really wants me to brush my teeth. He he was very weird in the car. Hope, boring. The summer's gonna be so boring. I like grandma, but without grandpa, it's going to be strange. What's that? Mom must have popped this in my suitcase. Yay! A map. That would be useful if I can get out of the house. Okay, I'd better go downstairs. First day, I miss my friends. Is it safe to have a tree indoors? Better. Oh, that was, I was losing the toilet, okay. Oh, there you are. All done? Yep. Can I go out and play outside? It's dinner time soon. Oh. Why don't you draw something? There's paper in the living room. Your dad told me you had some homework to do over the summer for your new school? Huh. <laughs> Who wouldn't love to do homework in the summer vacation, huh? I wish I stayed back in Paris. I couldn't find any paper, so let's just use this old thing. Draw. I'm not seven anymore. What should I draw? Draw anime. Parents. Always a safe choice. Have you finished? Yes, I have. What? What have you done? This, this uh, isn't I for didn't drawing. Know. It looked old and. Of course, it's old. I've had it since before your dad was born. I, it's just that I. That <laughs> was a plan. Oh, so fucking idea to draw. Not mine. Did you ever play Life is Strange? Nope. I haven't seen stuff from Life is Strange either. Did I just like pass out on the floor? I'm sorry, Mimi. Listen, silence. Let's do the silence treatment. I don't want to talk to you. I shouldn't have lashed out at you. You have never shown me that binder before. Is it a secret? I usually lock it up in the attic. Oh. Why though? Why do you hide it? It's a memory. It's a lot of memories actually. 
The spine is very important to me. Your grandfather and I, we used to write it to each other through the, through the pages. So it's precious. Yes, but maybe... You know what? Why don't you take it? Take it? Why? Because it wasn't meant to end. We used the binder so it would never be over. We could always add pages. Do you understand? I think so. It's like a never-ending book. Promise me you'll keep writing and drawing in it? That you'll keep it alive? Would you like me to show you how to use it? Yeah. First, you can write everything you need to remember to do here. Let's add the map to your uh, let's add the map your mother gave you. This way you can't get lost. We always kept the binder organized, so I'm hoping you'll do the same with the tabs. All the little memories you've collected are tidied and stored uh, uh, tidied and stored in here. Maybe we'll put some new stuff in this binder over the holiday. I'll let you explore it by yourself. Aww. The binder? I remember it now. Maybe the binder is in the box. The candle won't last forever. Let's open the shutters. Need to let some light in. I wouldn't want this adventure to end abruptly by falling down the stairs. Ah, oh, Why not? Ah, feels good. Well, I got a new SMS, so... Are you at the house? Let me know as soon as you arrive. Um, at the house, it's a bit freaky. Wait, the grandma followed grandpa? Yeah, yeah, the grandma followed grandpa. Much better, this place hasn't changed. Let the removals people deal with it. I want to explore. This is on the desk there, on the table. Nora's kitchen, always spotless. This room is a mystery to me. Don't touch anything. Shut the fuck up. I want to do it. Let me touch shit. Let me touch it. Locked. That's a pity. Maybe she put a binder in my room after all. She wanted me to find it. Alright. I haven't been here in 20 years. Grandpa left me a box. It should be in my room, right? I can't see a thing. Let's open the shutters. Step down and go to sleep. Yeah, it's good. Thinking about you, hopefully this whole house thing won't be too complicated. I can manage. Let's see what's in here. A mixtape. This is ancient. Well, I'm gonna find a tape player in 2002. 
Wow, am I being called out? No, what the fuck? <laughs> what? A tape play in 2002? Letters. We be better, um, but, um, I'd better save them. I don't want the removal people to throw them away. <laughs> you feel cooler. <laughs> A letter no reward to Ed Ed Edward. Oh, Grandpa. Oh, Edward. It's Edward. This trip to Paris is wearing me out, and they miss our house terribly. Yesterday for lunch, I saw some colleagues from the agency. Miguel says hi. I met some of the new architects, including a couple of very bright interns. The stench of cigarettes and cold coffee. The crumbled paper sheets, the tables covered in drawings. What a joy to find again these half-forgotten memories. I immediately, I immediately felt a strange lassitude and went back to the hotel. I had to be rested to meet Helena, Fabrice's new girlfriend. Dinner was in a small bistro in a port Melior? Oysters because I absolutely love them. Helena comes from a very wealthy family, but she is quite nice, if a little upright. Uh, uptight. You know me. I couldn't stop teasing her, teasing her about that, and Fabrice and I started one of our little arguments. If you had been there, you would have found the right words to calm him down. I couldn't, so I lost my temper. Time for me to leave. It's quite late, and I would like to sleep before my next lack of for my next leg of my trip. Tomorrow is Nante. N Nantes. Oh. Dude, I can't. How do fucking France's cities pronounce? Like, how, how are they being pronounced? Nante? After tomorrow is Kiberon. I will be back as planned next week by the by the 4 p.m. train. Until then, I drop a kiss on your lips, your Nora. Hmm. Mom and Nora meeting. That was tense. Late 1970s. She has already. She was already pregnant with me. Why are you missing finger? D what? Ah. Paris, August 28, 1978. I'm taking the time to write down these few words in the hope that you will be able to forgive your son. After our rushed exit from your house, I couldn't find the opportunity to tell you how sorry I was for the words he used. I know that Fabrice and you do not often agree, but I dare to believe that between a child and their parents, there must be a form of respect which should not be broken. I also believe that this whole scene was not a good show for my little Mimi. Obviously, you have the right to see her. I wish for my daughter to have exciting and meaningful moments with her grandparents. She must grow up knowing she can count on you as much as she, as she can count on us. I would request from you to not disclose this letter or its content to Fabri Fabrice. Thank you, your daughter-in-law, Helena. 1978, the year... Uh, 1978, the year before Grandpa died. I think Dad and Grandpa got into a fight. That... That was the last time they spoke. What a shame. The letters, I've got a feeling they'll help me remember my past. Okay, enough of that. Let's get back to that drawer. What? An old camera? My old camera? Nice. Oh, we're doing this, huh?
It works after all these. from home get ready for the day second day I can't believe I'm gonna have to spend four weeks in here do I not like open the binders wait what is this here breakfast ready Right, time to go down. Why don't you sit down? Breakfast, the most important meal of the day. I'm skipping breakfast most of the time. Wait, where do I sit down here? Do you want a drink? What do you usually have at home? Sad. I have sad at home. The juice hurts my teeth. It's from a farm near here. Real apple juice. Hungry? I've made some toast. I want some lost. Alone deep fair. With some alone. Or some deep. Let's go with some deep. Mm, the butter looks weird. It's so yellow. No, but it butter's normally that color. So dark. Is the honey old? It's chestnut honey, dear. Can I have some cereal? I bought a cereal for you, but it isn't good. Dreadful ingredients. But I like it. Your mother insisted. It's full of sugar, Mimi. Really? You can have a little bit. No more. You you say you say it is full of sugar while you give like honey and fucking jam is there as well. That shit is also full of sugar. Okay. Yes. Oh shit! <laughs> Thing is empty. Oh shit, it's empty! <laughs> Come on, I told you this series is really bad for you. <laughs> Are you alright? Mimi? <laughs> After all this, I'm not hungry. Uh, I'm, I'm not hungry. The food tastes weird. But, but you used to like the breakfast here? Yeah? I don't anymore. I hate it here. It's boring. And I'm all alone. It's it's unfair. I know you miss your parents. Uh, and your friends. Yes. 
Let's go out. Let's let's do something. Just the two of us. What do you think? Uh, I would like that. She would usually have snapped. Or shouted. But she simply... She gave me something. I could tell she was forcing herself to be... Nice. I remember now. We would be walking down to the river. She'd be quiet. Lost in her thoughts. My father hated it when I did that. He probably hated his mother too when she was like that. The river, the pebbles, the cold, cold water. The Dordogne. Dordogne. Oh, it's pretty. The view is gorgeous from the middle of the river. But here, take this. Yes. Camera? It was your grandfather's and now it's yours. Really? Look around you and the view is just spectacular. I'll get a picture from the middle of the river. Mimi, first you have to focus on your subject. Alright. Only then you can take your picture and voila. Look, we got company. Why don't you take a photo of those hot air balloons up there? Good, one last picture before we head home. Fantastic, and don't forget you only have a limited number of photos. Your holidays got off to a bit of a rough start, but I do hope you're feeling better, sweetie. Yeah, I think today was... Sunny. <laughs> Today was sunny. Complicated. Fun. Oh, so complicated, right? Complicated, but I'm better now. Let's make sure we share our feelings. Bad ones and good ones. Mm -hmm. What kind of pictures are you going to take with the camera? Nature, you... Pictures of you! Oh, thank you. But look around you, it's much more beautiful. I tell you one, why don't we note all your ideas down in the binder? Sticker? I'm sure I can find the right sticker for the binder. Sounds good, sweetie. What do you say we put more headings in your binder so you can create some great pages? Craft your own page. There you go. Here you can create your own page with all the memories you get. When you are happy with your page, you can move it here and it will become part of the binder. How about creating your first page? I'll leave you to it. You know, I'm discovering my grandmother carried away by your gaze. You need two more words to complete the poem. Sunbeams soft on my skin, I open my arms towards the sun. They charge by a warm sunbeam. Dude, I can't write a poem for shit.
Despite there was a connection between your grandfather and me, I think we would have loved seeing you using it. I miss him. Oh, I do too, my dear. I do too. Letters from the past, poems, pictures, postcards. Huh? What's that? <coughs> oh, it must be Nora's cat. She looks hungry. What's that noise? I'd better check. I guess my cat scratched me when I it jumped off me earlier. Just don't notice it. Oh no! I'll help you. Stay still, little one. That's a chunky cat. <laughs> Hello, Missy. Whoa, no, 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 no. <laughs> I wasn't very brave there. I must be hungry. And I need that key. In the fall, it's a bit damp over here, but in the summer, it's in the shade. Alright, so... We need food. I need to be clever. This cat knows this place better than I do. Oh, I can't even go in anymore. This tree looks like it can keep a secret. Like a professional gardener. This place. I remember this place. What a lovely little spot. I spy a hungry little kitty. Hmm. If I scare her off, she could disappear for days. A bit of food might do the trick. I'm sure grandma has something for you in her kitchen. I wanted to go to the kitchen like straight away and you didn't you didn't let me. What the fuck? Don't push yourself too hard. As your therapist said, you can't save everyone. Little hobbit. Stop calling me a hobbit, you orc. Okay, I need to find something to attract my little friend. Fish. Sardines. Cats love these. Or oh, is that a stereotype? Not sure if I have enough for my little friend to choose from. Oh. Wait. I sound just like a cat lady. You sound like Tin. Tin is a cat lady. Store bot treats. Industrial treats never opened. Nora wouldn't have used these. Not sure about enough. How much do you want to give the cat? It's that's already a chunky cat. What 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 else does it need? Oh my god. My first studio wait, my first studio flat in Paris was smaller than this pantry. Homemade treats. 
Homemade cat food. That's just like Nora, but it smells weird. I should have enough treats for the can. I need to get back to the pond. Dude, how you have enough you have enough food to like feed a cat for days. I hope the cat's still hungry. Hello, you. Let's actually get the, the shop bought treats. Not your kind of food, huh? Alright. Do you like the homemade treats that Nora made? A cat of great taste, I see. Oh, damn. Okay, okay, okay. Patience game. It's time to open this cave. I hope the key fits. Does it fit? It fits. Yes, I'm in. Hugies? Hugies? Once again, I would like to apologize for what happened with your boy. We usually try to stay out of the playground when it comes to problems between students, but things escalated and we thought it was the right move. I don't believe your son stole anything and despite the rumors, it was me who gave him the watch. Other parents have been quick to use this as a way to criticize your son and your family. I also need to apologize on behalf of my wife. Nora has been very protective of me lately, mostly because of my health. You must have heard. I'll talk to her soon. Trust me when I say that she will believe your child and me. We love him very much, no matter what you might think at the moment. My dear Eduard, this tr oh wait, this is the one that I... Okay, we, we read that before. There's a kayak. Wait, it rings a bell. Gardening. Will you help me? Sure. What's in that room? Nothing you'd be interested in. Get dressed and meet me outside. And brush those teeth. <laughs> Darn. 
First week's already gone. Time flies. I need to go brush my teeth before going down. Should you like dress up or something? <laughs> right, this this is how you do it. That that that's that's how you do it. I almost forgot my hat. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm done. That house. How did I feel about it? I used to come, but... But something... My father and his mother became more distant. I didn't notice it back then. I felt that something was wrong, and they never spoke about it. Is that why I don't remember that summer? Hey, it's a cuckoo. Hey, hi. It's weird with our grandpa. Ah, right, so grandma's just in a gun, right? Let's call it then. There she is. I wasn't sure if you really wanted to help. I I don't know anything about gardening. Then we will start with something easy. Why don't you go and fetch a troll troll from the cave? A troll? Ah, uh, don't worry. It's like a small shovel. You can't miss it. Enjoying the game. It's like a nice little game. Just wanted to have something else. If we did like some Oblivion earlier, I uh, just wanted to have something else. Just like some chill indie game, I think. Grandpa was right. It looks like a small shovel. Wow, a kayak. Cool. Mimi, did you find the trouble? Yes, coming. You took your time. Are you alright? You have a kayak? Yes, it belonged to your dad, but it's broken. Oh, oh no. I wish I could go kayaking. Let's concentrate on gardening today, alright? I need you to pull out the weeds. Yeah, yeah. So, Dad had a kayak? Yeah, he did. Your grandfather and your father used to kayak back in the day. Well, your father never really liked it. Okay. How did the kayak break? It smashed into some rocks on a day the Dordogne was really rough. Smashed? So cool! 
Smashing is cool, by the way. Can we fix a kayak? I would have to think about it. Aww. I think I finished. Now, let's plant something, shall we? Really? Of course. First, we dig a hole using the trowel. Then, let's choose a plant. Uh, which one do you fancy? A uh, thyme, sage, rose. So rose. A neighbor gave me a cutting from his rose bush. August is the best time for planting. The rose it has thorns, but it will be beautiful in one day. Let's plant a flower then. Now we fill the hole with soil and make a little mountain to keep the plant stable. <laughs> Wonderful job, Mimi. To grow, a plant needs sun, time and water. Exactly. When you plant something, you need to water it a lot. Excellent work. I was thinking, I need to get some things from the market and there we could buy things to fix the kayak. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, is it fixable? Oh yes. We would need a certain kind of glue, a waterproof one. Maybe some wood to fix the holes. Hmm. Can we really do it? Yes, we can. Yeah. So what are we waiting for? <laughs> These look really good. We should make a salad. So, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, the train will soon leave the platform. If you want more videos, wh why do you like those Karen videos so much? We left the house. We walked together. What, what do you mean together? Was? Where is she? What, what What? do you mean together? What, where is she? Where did she go? In your pocket. Go down here or what? Nora spoke about her life, about her travels. There was always a part of her that belonged somewhere else. I liked her. I can say it now. I loved that woman. So smart, so charming. And yes, Sometimes her eyes look sad. Yay! Yeah. 
dad used to say that I looked just like Nora when I was daydreaming. He hated that, of course. He disliked his mother and never explained why. running this Welcome to the market, my dear. So many people, it's crazy. I've told you before, we don't say crazy. But yes, it's crowded. Here, I wrote down what we need to buy. Would you like to take care of that? Me? But mom never lets me shop by myself. She says it's too dangerous. I trust you, you're 12. I won't be far away. I'm just going to say hello to some old friends. Cool, I'll be back with everything soon. Oh, at 12 shopping alone, I could have never done that. Hello. He has cheese, butter, but no milk. Hello, do you have any milk left? I should have some right here. Oh, it's gone. It must be that damn kid. Which kid? There's a thief around here and he keeps whistling. It's driving everyone mad. Oh, poor you. Oh, no milk for us. Grandma and I need some water proof glue. <laughs> and also some piece of wood. We're fixing a kayak. Oh, I'm so sorry. You're too late. The last tube I had was pilfered a few minutes ago. P pilfered? Yeah, stolen. I'm sure it's a little rascal. A kid your age. A right little pest, if you ask me. Okay, thank you. So that what up proof glue. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Hello, sweetie. What can I do for you? We need tomato seeds. You're Nora's granddaughter, aren't you? Yeah, I am. So nice to meet you. I think these are the seeds she wants. Thank you so much. Okay, we need rhubarb. Get pizza a bit ago. I still need to make some food in a bit, like after stream. Good morning, I need some rhubarb. But I'm not sure what it looks like. Those branches over there. 
Is it for a pie or jam? Uh, I don't know, my grandma just said rhubarb. Uh, you would better take the green and the red ones then. Don't let them sit around too long before you eat them. Anything else? No, that's all. Have a great day, little lady. I need a baguette. I don't know where to get the baguette. I don't need Hello, I would like a baguette, please. Sure, here you go. Thank you. You're so polite. Have a great day. Okay. No milk, no glue. Ah, uh, I should go back to grandma. Wash baguette with water? <laughs> Do you have everything? Almost, I haven't got milk. We can get milk somewhere else. Or glue. Or wood. Oh, Mimi. Some kid stole everything. A kid? Maybe he's still here. What do you know about our little thief? He whistles. That's the only thing I know. Alright, let's find him, shall we? Uh, yes. Yes. I need to take a picture of him. Quick, Mimi. Got him. He drops his wood. He stole is in it. Well, everything. Funny. How does he even know what now we that need? I think about it. It's like she knew who the thief was. Why don't you take back all the stolen stuff? I'm sure the sellers will be pleased. Good idea. Thank you, Mimi. Well done, Mimi. What Let's weird combination is that even? I remember now how good it felt. Are they other milk, people, giving wood, up my and time glue? Them. What a thief. How come I'd forgotten all that? And that one? That's not a star. Look how fast it's moving. It's a satellite. Wow, and the big blue star over there? Ah, uh, that's Sirius. The brightest star we can see, just like you. Ah, uh, I'm not a star. Almost. Tell me. How was it today? How do you feel? Happy, excited, awesome. Today was awesome, but tomorrow we will fix the kayak and I can't wait. I don't blame you. Oh my God. It was nice to work in a garden with you. Your help was very much appreciated, young lady. I'm so glad we managed to stop that thief. You and your camera, you're like a proper reporter. So the first half of your holidays is over. I'm sure the second half will be even better. I know it will. What's wrong, Mimi? Are you worried about something? N no, no, just thinking about the thief. I wonder if he was forced to steal or if it was just a game. Ah, uh, well, that's another mystery to solve for Mimi, the brilliant reporter. I'm not a reporter. That binder of yours is like a newspaper, right? Hmm, okay, maybe you're right. By the way, time to do my page. I snipe B. 
I want to shout awesome. I will come. Awesome, mysterious. I want to shout awesome, diving into what's mysterious. <laughs> A bit strange, a zest of weird. Uh, I'm throttling by what I see. Sure, let's do this one. So many memories, so many moments. I guess the rest of this adventure is up there in the attic. Wow, don't feel too well. Maybe a cup of tea will do the trick. You can't be serious, Mimi. You need to find a job, not clean that curse home. Uh, I don't need to find a job. <laughs> Jobs are for loose. <laughs> Oh my god. Cleaning is next Friday. That's my final word on the matter. Bro, how many times did he say that? Your mother's worried. I don't. Pardon pour la rédaction, my dear, dear Nora, a thousand, a thousand thanks for your visit in Mexico. We will miss you terribly and your smile as well. As we discussed, I prepared for you a little package with gifts from my country, which I hope will make you want to come back. Careful with the chocolate, it's extremely bitter and acquired taste. Before our meeting, I had doubts my work and my agency will... Uh, but your trip changed our life. Not that our home will always be open for you here in Mexico. Yours truly, Isadora y Mateo. What really happened between them and Nora and me that summer? Uh, wait. There you go. Open that up. What are in? Close. Take that on there. Click the button. Thank you, Nora, for sticking to old fashioned kettles. Uh, let's take the big one. Uh, I don't know. Thyme? Smells so good. Orange peel. Is that sage? White tea and rose. Looks like she made this one herself. Let's try this one. How do I... How do I... Eh! And infuser. Nora wasn't really easy either. Maybe that's the issue. Two very strong personalities, and there's that thief. What happened? What happened exactly? Oh god, oh, oh god. I 
That's a big mark. Infinite cattle. That's like what I think every British household has. But like how much do you drink? Infinite cattles. The tea is too hot for now. I'll drink that later. Time to check the attic. I haven't had tea in like six months. I was like the same as me. I mostly only drink like tea in winter time. Wait, can I get the key here? There we go. Nora used to put the key right there. Funny how this key stayed there. And that I grew up and the house hasn't changed as much as I have guessed. Does it fit? We will see. It fits. Hopefully the binder is in here. The binder or the box. The agency filed another copywriter today. Taught the br <laughs> taught the British guy. I liked him. Lucky him. <laughs> Lucky him. <laughs> I like this game. <laughs> I didn't know my grandparents were geeks. Did we use that word in 1982? Maybe back then it was normal to have an entire room for your own train set. A keypad? Maybe it opens something. Knowing them, my grandparents probably invented some sort of weird game. I would better look around. There's got to be a code or something. Enter the right code. I have no fucking idea. Um. Looks like they're quite important. Maybe they'll give me the code. Uh, okay. So, five. Wait, it means this one is six, probably. Yeah. There you go. today. Autumn is upon us. I love the sounds of autumn. Everything sounds so crunchy. What are you doing? Still recording, Edouard. Listen to his footsteps. Here, take this. It's chilly. Oh, that's sweet. Well, Sometimes it's my turn. Hmm. It is, my love. Did you call the tree guy? I will. There's no rush. That cherry tree is dead, Nora. It needs cutting down. I know. Autumn 78, before Grandpa's death. I remember so little of him. you do. Move it closer to the fire. Otherwise Mimi won't hear it. Oh, that's lovely. I love that cherry tree. You know? I know. Nothing beats a good old fire. Hmm. I agree, my love. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Christmas 78, Dad cancelled last minute. He said Grandpa was tired. Hmm, maybe focus. <coughs> no. 
Edouard, I'm recording. <coughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Sub die. Are you all right? I am. <coughs> cool bug factors. One day you will have to answer for your actions. All right. Oh my God. Bird of prey. Superb. It's migrated from down south. Oh, I love the spring. So many new things to look out for. Mm, the flowers are out. Did we book the guy for the cherry tree? Edouard, stop worrying about the cherry tree. We'll prune it in due course. I'm not worried. I want the garden to be safe when Mimi visits us. Spring was their favorite season. Dodonia, 11th uh, of August, 1959. There are a difficult week here. Kids agitated at school. A lot of tests to review. Fabrice ran away again. Found him at the station, waiting for a train. He didn't know where to go exactly, but he wanted to disappear. We talked as much as we could. You know how much he looks like me. But he kept quiet. I did too. On our way home, we stopped for an ice cream on a little beach near Rogue. Gagak? I thought of you because I know you would have found a way to pierce his thick skin. In a tree above our heads, a leaf was suspended, held up by a spider web. The leaf was curling on itself, but refused to touch the ground. It looked at it. I, I looked at it for so long. Fabrice saw me and he stood up and ripped the leaf off and sat back down to finish his ice cream. Keep telling us your wonderful Mexican adventures. They're heartwarming. Your beloved Edward. So, am I like, is it two, four, five, seven? Code. So the five is correct. The five is correct. Last. Ah, okay. So it has to be. No, wait. Seven? Hmm. So five is last. Seven is there. So it means like four, it starts with like four or two. The two is correct, okay. That means it's seven, two, four, five. Of course. Yes, here goes nothing. You're like, pull it down. This stuff is ancient. It rings a bell. Here. Okay. All right, let's give it a listen.
Oh, she left the door open. Yay. That's super risky. Like, wouldn't uh, she should have like waited to see like who's there and like if it takes long or not? <laughs> I was like very risky. Wow, I didn't know Grandma was like that. This is. Nobody's gonna believe me. Trains? Train enthusiasts? I think only like old people are like train enthusiasts, right? That's like, that's like a grandpa thing, right? Like a... <laughs> like if you like trains and you know like the time has come, right? <laughs> Look at that! Like a real train! No, even better! What's that thing? Oh, I can record sounds with it. <laughs> that's that's so modern. Maybe I could record a train. But why? So lovely, I wish I could go back home by train. I should take a picture from the awesome place while I'm here. It's all right. This place is a very special place. Your grandfather and I used it to express ourselves. Since he passed away, I, I've kept it to myself. It's a bit like a temple, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it's not good to do that, I think. Places, objects, they should have many lives, just like that tape recorder you found. I should have asked. Perhaps, but now it's yours. Would you like to come down and help me fix the kayak? Yes! Places, objects, should have many lives. Kayaking? Is that a real verb? Let's go! Let's go repair the kayak. Ready, Mimi? I think so. Come here and uh, let's fix the kayak. Oh no, is Twitch breaking? No! Uh oh. I'm disconnected to. Uh oh. Alright, I reconnected. Woo! I, 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 I saw like the, the, the circle, like the spinning circle, like reconnecting to chat. I said, like, oh no, not again.
Well, start by fixing these holes. We wouldn't want you to drown. No. Okay, let's see. Where did you learn to do all that? Mom isn't very good with tools and stuff. I enjoy it. It's as simple as that. I meant someone must have taught you how to do stuff. I don't like to be dependent on anyone. So I learned. I taught myself. I wish I could be like you when I'm older. And I hope you will become yourself, sweetie. And now the most important part. Let's paint this beauty. Paint? Of course. It's yours, so it should have your colors, your style. You need more paint, sweetie. Alright. Sometimes I wish I could just glue back people together. Like, Grandpa and Dad? Like, yeah. But it's too late now, and nothing, nobody can fix it anymore. That's all good. She's ready. Let's get her down to the river. I'm so excited. Where are we going? There's a small beach further down. You can't miss it. A beach? Keep the boat steady at all times. The Dodogne is a very quiet river, but you never know. Yes, I promise. This game is really good, it's very unique. And it really has like a nice story to it. No, the rain from England! Ah, this feels good. <sighs> That's right. This feels good. <laughs> the tea rain. <laughs> You're right, Grandma. Napping is good. <laughs> Fucking piss from me. <laughs> Uh, napping is life, bro. Can we do this? This is we need something like as a life motto. Like napping is life. <laughs> but I want to explore. Time to get up. Whoa. 
says the man doing six, seven, eight work days, six, seven days a week. <laughs> we need to pick all that up. Can you help me, Mimi? Of course. <laughs> Come here, let's check if we got everything. Hmm, I'm missing some cutlery. Maybe then the water. Can you go and check? The water's too cold for my old bones, sweetie. Typical. Okay. I'll go, I'll go. Yay! Oh, the water's so good. She's missing out. Find some money. Any luck? Yes, give me a minute. Hey, guy. And I think I found our things. Wait, there's like a fish here. One second, let me see. What the fish doing? Oh, nothing. Ah, oh, the fish is blocking me. I can't go back this way, okay. Have you got everything? I believe so, yeah. Come on, let's go home. I'll get the kayak ready. Huh. Mimi, what's wrong? Oh, the thief! Mm -hmm. I think I saw something in the forest. Can I go and have a it look? It was probably just a cat, but go on. No problem. Have a yeah, good time. Yeah, I will. Thank you. Can I move? Hello? Oh, there you go. I should probably change before I... Uh, let's do that. Work is over. Time to chill. Freedom. Yay! Wait, can I climb this? Oh, there you go. Um. Oh.
Dude, we're so far away. Try it again. The thief is waiting up here, one. No, 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 no. Oh, I can't pick this up anymore, one. How do you want to get down again? <laughs> No one's allowed. You're the thief from the market! I'm not a thief. Never see that word again. I'm just borrowing. Have a good sleep, Steph, Iris. Borrowing? That's not... Think if I hang out, They'll see tomorrow again. They'll get things back, and more, as soon as I find the Coulobre's treasure. The Coulobre? A giant dragon that sleeps at the bottom of the Dordogne, guarding a big treasure. Enough to pay back the people from the market? Enough so everyone will like me. He'll see. Do you need help? To find the treasure, I mean? Help? <laughs> You're from the city, right? How could a city girl help me find the Culabra? I'm an explorer. Ha! <laughs> Don't make me laugh. If I wasn't an explorer, I wouldn't have climbed up here by myself. Fine. Fine. Well, maybe I should test you. Test? There's a puzzle in here. Solve it. And I'll decide if I can trust you, city girl. But first, catch! <gasps> Wow. What a, uh, Mimi, are you all right? Don't worry, I'm fine. What is wrong with you? He's gone. Let's meet in my secret lair tomorrow. If you solve my puzzle. <laughs> I'll show him. You'll see if I'm not an explorer. <laughs> Uh, I need that back, quick. Yay! If you climb on my balcony, no. No. Why 
Why don't you come back to the beach and get dressed? Are we leaving soon? Yes, time to head home. What should you do out there? Explore, thief, climb, explore. I explored this whole mountain, every rock, every bush. Ah, oh, delightful. So, how did you find the spot? Pretty nice, isn't it? That's beautiful. It's beautiful out there. I'm so glad you like this place. I wouldn't want to leave ever. You know, I used to come here often with your grandpa and your dad. I miss him. It feels crazy to say that, but I miss him. Don't say crazy. And, and I think I understand what you mean. Your father is a... You know what? Let's just enjoy the moment together. Let's go home, shall we? Yeah, I'm too tired. Great. I've got to buy eggs for tonight's dinner. I'll go to the neighbor to get some. I'll be right back. What are you going to do while I'm there? I want to... I want to do my binder. Really good idea, sweetie. Now that I'm alone, let's see what that dirty thief wants from me. Alright, what is that puzzle you want me to solve? Let's take everything out. Hmm, instructions. And stickers. Probably for this map. Let's read this little note. Step one, put the sticker in the right location. Can I, can I rotate them? I can't rotate them. Wait, no, this is... This is here. Okay. This goes in here. in here then okay 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 done what's next step to connect certain stickers and reveal my uh, layer where the lines cross First line, stones cannot fly. Almost there now. Second line, across the bridge you will find my house. Found you, thief. Circle where the two lines cross. Here it is. It's here. The thief's layer. Easy. That baby could solve this. 
Now I need to tell the thief I solved this puzzle. I should climb up the top of the tree and try to call him. What? Wait, what tree? This one. Uh, oh. Yoohoo, I think I found you. No way. Told you I was an adventurer. Well, well done. I'll be there tomorrow. We can discuss the um, Colobre. Great. Cool. See you tomorrow. Good. Now I know where to go tomorrow. I ought to climb down now. I'd better hide the map in here. And then I can do my binder page. Mimi, dinner time. On my way. What a day. Wow. I'm pretty sure Nora left it right where it was. Stuck in the metro, just tired of the city, dreaming about running around in that cute little house of yours in Dordogne. Wait, it is your house now, isn't it? <laughs> you wouldn't last a day in here. What is that? Hey Manuela, my name is Mimi. I am seven years old and I'm writing from the garden of my grandmother, Nora. She told me she was going to translate the letter into Spanish, a language you understand. I speak only French, even if my father wants to move to a faraway country because he thinks Paris is crazy. Sometimes he shouts at the other drivers and I find it very funny. My grandmother Nora says she knows your parents and that you live in Mexico, a very colorful city. I would love to visit another city than Paris or Salah. I think it's called Salah. Salah. I love your city already because it has an X in it and it's a letter I love. I must leave now, we're going to a cave with a very old drawing. My father loves everything old. Maybe not Nora's house. Maybe my father doesn't like houses. See you soon, Mimi. Everybody calls me like that. Hey, oh, Jaisal. Hey, hi. Oh, we made it together with Nora. The ri this rings a bell. There must be something interesting in here. Oh! 
The Colobra. Grandma should be calling me by now. Where is she? It sounds like Grandma's downstairs. And she's sleeping. I mustn't disturb her. She's pro she probably fell asleep reading that huge book she's carrying around. Well, time to go. All by myself. I was so carefree. Off to meet a ten-year-old thief. <laughs> I feel like I'm remembering someone else's life. That is so beautiful of the game. should be the right place I think. I can't see anything. I'm gonna need something to light the way. Oh convenient. Do it. <laughs> the adventure begins. Hey thief, what's your name? My name is Renault. Renault? Renault! Yeah? Sorry, I just wanted to show your name.
Uh, Raptor, thank you so much for follow. If you have Prime Game and you can now get his new set of nails for Forspoken. Oh my god. Yo, I need that. <laughs> hey, are you still there? Yeah, why? Are you lost, city girl? This place is huge. Don't get lost. I don't believe you've never got lost. Never, I mean, no, never. Whoa! Ah, I guess you've met my flying friends. I knew I shouldn't trust a thief. I am not. I'm not a thief. thief. Okay. Are you angry? Yeah. Sorry, I said that. He is angry. You, you don't know me. It's fine. I'm used to it now. What is this? Amazing! Mimi, say hello to the Kulova. Legendary! Come on, Mimi, hurry up! <sighs> Thanks for your help! I thought you were a great explorer! I am! Wow, this is... This is very, very cool! I know. These are things I collected through the years. And you haven't seen anything yet. And you stole them, huh? These bullets are so beautiful. They all seem to make different sounds if you touch them. I wonder if Renault plays any instrument. Mom wanted me to learn the piano, but the teacher said I talked too much. Renault likes books too. Legends and fairy tales. Must be research. Or Renault also has some Asterix comics. Dad hates them. Or Le Petit Nicolas. That's for babies. That's a dragon you want to find. I want its treasure. What is the Kulubra anyway? It's a creature that sleeps at the bottom of the Dodoin. A Dodonia River. It eats boats, sailors, fishermen. Scary. How big is it? It's as long as the Dodonia. It's gonna be hard to catch. 
Why don't you take the book with you, so you can study the Kaluba? That's a good idea. Thanks, Reno. I have to Do you want to code for the nails? I don't... I, I haven't touched... I have not touched um, the game since um, I did the first Pokémon stream. Don't worry about it. I, I have not touched that game since then. I don't plan to um, to play that again, to be honest. That's that's the best spot in the whole of Dodonia. 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 Because I need the best lookout to track the Kuluba. From up here, I can scout the whole river. Oh shit. I love it how they stop doing noise as soon as I wanted to record it. This place is awesome. Well, I have something even cooler. Cooler than this? You have books, fishing rods, and a wonderful view. This is truly remarkable. I guess he Look wants family. At this beauty. <laughs> I can cheat in class, and I can even store ten phone numbers. Ten! No way! Can I see it? Ten! No, you can't. It's, uh, it's a gift from my teacher. Oh. But it's a secret. You can't say a word to anyone, okay? You're very lucky, Renaud. And I won't tell a soul. Thank you, Mimi. That means a lot. Is she not questioning him? Why, why, why he's alone in that cave and has like no one else? Is she not, que is she not questioning him? So I have an idea about how we practice the scream the Kalubra makes to attract it. Exactly. You read my mind. Wait, we should record ourselves so we could set a trap or something. That's even better. Repeat after me. E e e e okay. Can you can you be like even slower? Okay. Wow, you're so much better than that. Okay. You're so much better at this than I am. Even with altitude this time. <laughs> this is so beautiful. The first stars will be coming out soon. <gasps> oh no! I have to go! So she didn't eat the whole day. To yourself. It sounds like I was a monster. I worked, Fabrice, and oh my god, who says that to their mother? What has Mimi got to do with this? She's independent and she's having fun here. Hey, sweetie, you're back. 
How about some um, coca outside? Yes, I'll join you on the garden table. so much better outside. Yeah, and it's pretty cool to sit down. It's very chilly. You would better make sure you don't catch a cold. Thank you, Grandma. This scarf is so soft. So you sneaked out today? I should be... I should be cross with you. But you aren't? No, as long as you answer three of my questions. Where did you go? A cave. A cave. There's a lot. Oh. There are lots of them around here. Fine, fine. But why did you go there? And to discover stuff. Discover. That's a big word. I like it. More importantly, how did you feel about today? Free. Free? That's very important. That is my favorite feeling. So, should I punish you? Let me think for a second. Hmm. Grandma, please be nice to me. Of course I'll be nice. You can explore and travel the world as much as you want, sweetie. As long as I know you're safe. Thank you, Grandma. Yeah? Can we invite, um... How was your day? I slept all day, I think. I don't know why I was so tired. Probably that long, long book I'm trying to finish. And the main character, she is all gone. Sounds like fair. Laura sounds like fair right now. The writer has never met a woman, trust me. <laughs> Too real? Scarf. It has to be somewhere inside the house. Oh my god, I'm worried about you. Come come home, please. I want to be I want you to be happy. I love you. I can't, not now. Six missed calls. Probably dad calling. I can't wait. I've had enough of him for the moment. The scarf should be upstairs in Nora's bedroom. You have not yet returned the two DVDs you rented on 17th September to DVDs La Tour, Man La Tour Montparnasse Infernal Plus Perfect 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 Blue I can't I can't I never forgotten something before I left at least I have great taste in movies A Perfect Blue Bro why is your phone going on all, or going off all the time? My god. When are you back? This weekend might be our last chance for Bellinis. <sighs> Fuck you, dumb. Alright. I hope the scarf will lead me to the box. So quiet. Looks like, looks like she had time before she... 
Let's find the scarf. Edouard, this letter is a cautious final warning. Leave our family alone. The way we live is none of your business. We appreciated your hospitality and you took good care of Renault in the past, but your investigation regarding our religion is going too far. The next time you cross the line, we will complain to your academy, to the, re to the rector, even and to the police. Renault is not your child. Take care of your own problems with your own son before you, before harassing us like this. I see it there, can I not take it? I can take the scarf. Thing. Ah. ah. <laughs> the picture. That's Edouard, my grandfather, and Nora, and Renault. These must be his parents. Edouard has Renault's watch. He probably gave it to her. <laughs> the watch. It is at the center of whatever happened between them. Wait, I remember. The watch. Nora and Renault. to make sure. to get home? Nah, nobody cares about me. Oh. I'll stay here, I think. Hey, let's continue our search tomorrow, okay? Yeah, sure. Um, Grandma? 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 Oh my god. <laughs> what? Oh. Can we invite my friend here? Please say yes. He's all alone, and he'll be hungry. Uh, yes, of course. Why don't we have a picnic outside? It's so beautiful. And we can make something easy to eat. A picnic! That's a brilliant idea! Yeah! Yeah! Could you help me with the food for the picnic? Sure. Mom never lets me cook at home. Don't worry, I'll guide you. I'm happy to introduce you to Renault. Renault, I can't wait to meet Renault. He he's a bit wild. I don't have any other friends like that. Wild. I hope he's nice. Oh, he is. Now, the secret to the recipe is lots of heat and lots of fat. The fatter the merrier.
Put the duck fat in the pan. Uh, I don't know about that one. That might be enough fat. Let's season everything with salt and pepper. I'm glad I found a friend here. Not that I don't want to, you know, spend time with you. I understand, sweetie. It's normal to have a friend your age. That's good. Even if I can tell he has problems with his parents, one more reason to invite him to our little picnic, right? And I think that's enough salt. Now into the frying pan. I think it'd great. They'll still be warm for a picnic. If we hurry. Follow me, yes. Spinach is nice, I like spinach. My favorite green is broccoli though. I fucking love broccoli. Broccoli goes all the time. I think broccoli is like my favorite she vegetable. Put up with me and my ideas. I think she enjoyed it. It must be so refreshing to have someone like that in your life. Someone who says yes to all your stupid ideas, all your whims. Broccoli is nice. This is really cool, Grandma. Shouldn't you call for your friend? Right, I call him from the bottom of the cliff. Asparagus. You like asparagus? Asparagus makes your pee stink. Yoohoo! Yoohoo! I bought lunch. Coming. Why don't you grab some pine cones so we can decorate the picnic? Yes, he'll love it. This is going to be great. Wait, what, what are we... Glue? What are we... Enough glue for now. Put it away and start decorating your toy. Because you want to do it. Simple as that. Hmm. You yeah, must be right. My friend will be here soon. Let's get the food out then. I guess we're ready. Mimi, he's here. Hey. Hello. Renault, this is my grandma, Nora. Hello, Renault. I, I ran as fast as I could. I didn't have to. We bought some food, but. Why don't you take a picture first, Mimi? 
<laughs> Got a nice one, and this time you're not all blurry. Before you caught me, I'm pretty sure I saw something in the water. Did you scream? I did, but I think your scream is much better than mine. What are your hunting kits? The Colobre, of course. Of course. Do you think we got a chance? I can't run away forever. It can't run away forever. Mimi and I could easily catch it. I have no doubt you'll succeed. When we catch it, I hope everybody will see me pull the serpent out of the water. <laughs> oh no. Is everything ready? Can we start can we start eating? I guess we can. What do you think, Renault? Hmm. We're lucky, the weather is so nice. It's gonna rain tomorrow. I know you were a bit stressed about my secret friend, Grandma. I was curious, that's all. Is, is everything okay? It is. Yes, it is. Let's enjoy the picnic. Do, do you know each other? We do, sweetie. It's all about the watch. The watch? What are you talking about? A thief. And a liar. It's not true. Nobody believes me. Here, I don't care about the stupid watch. Stop. You shouldn't play with thieves. He didn't steal the watch. He told me he didn't. Why would he lie? Nora knew Renault. And he knew my grandfather. Something bad had happened between them. I see it now. I ran so fast. And for so long. I wasn't angry anymore. I just felt empty. And sad. Why? Why? I'm so sick of this family. I must calm down. I must calm down. The binder. Good idea, Mimi. Good idea. Was that a fire alarm? I have to check. How many times did Grandma watch the sunrise from this window? Oh. Mr. Edouard La Brousse or La Brousse. The, discipline, uh, the disciplinary board of the Academy of Bordeaux has decided to not sanction you in the Bucard case. Quick reminder, you brought to our attention the bruises and marks on the child. You filed in the case a you filed in the case a series of so-called pieces of evidence relating to the secluded and religious nature of the child's family. You requested our attention before deciding to act by yourself. Our own investigation proves that Renaud Bucard was not abused by his parents, and even if they are very devo devo devout, like many French citizens, 
They do not live in a seclusion. Your behavior during this case and your repeated visits to the academy, your insistent letters and the harassment you're putting the Bukhart family through, all of this is unbearable and must stop at once. We have convinced the family not to sue you, but for your own good and your own peace of mind, it is vital that you stay away from the child and his parents, the Dean of the Academy of Bordeaux. No, that's not what I want. I want the phone. Sorry I shouted. I'm so sorry I was angry. Why are you apologizing? Don't be too judgmental with your father. Dad! Could be a fire alarm. Did I leave something on the burner? <laughs> Nothing strange. It's, it's not coming from the kitchen. It's mom, your father's asleep now, sleeping pills. He's very upset, he won't admit it, but he doesn't want to judge him based on what happened. That's how judgment works, mom. Oh, it's somewhere in here. Sugar. It's the watch. It's fixed now. Did I leave it behind? Hmm. What are these old newspaper under the watch? Flooding in the Dodogne. August 1982. That's that's the last time I was here. the watch on the ground everything seems to be in working order but the battery must have dropped out i'll find another one at the market right you can do it mimi right, before we do it one second um i just noticed uh i have nothing to eat here and i'm super hungry and um i'll probably have to like order something real quick before they close uh <laughs> That's a bit unfortunate. <laughs> God damn it. Um I what do I want? What do I want? I need to be fast before they close. I don't even know when they close. I think they close at ten PM. Mm. And nothing really good has opened. That's like another thing. That's kind of shit. <laughs> I'm like in like a weird situation right now. Um, actually, I think we can finish this game and then I can um, order. Should be. I think we have like two more chapters to go. I think a bunch of chapters that were like 15 minutes or something. They want to pause the game right now because of this. Oh, 
All right, the market it is. We have to go to the market. The rain changed how the world looked. I remember the smell, the mud. The path I once knew like the back of my hand was different. I only had one thing in mind, fixing the watch, fixing Bruno and Nora. Oh my god, <laughs> I wanted to see, does it even matter? Oh, is it actually game over? Oh, I think it had to happen, huh? Looks like it was, it had to happen. Yeah. Oh, what is this place? That's a page from my binder. What is even going on right now? Oh, it's a dragon. Oh, no, dragon's a serpent.
Oh, Hi, Grail. Ich bin Mrs. Furry. Aber den Wild Grail. Scaly. Did you try to sink my kayak? You didn't do it on purpose. I get it. I don't blame you. Could you please... I think I remember. That's exactly how it happened. Mimi! Mimi! Oh no! Mimi! How the fuck was I supposed to dodge that one? Oh wait, I can die it down. I'm doing alright. Pretty happy today? Hey, I'm glad to hear that. That is really nice to hear. Come on, Mimi. Come with me. Care of it. People are going to blame me. It won't happen. I I know what to do. bring anyone or any wait it won't bring anyone or anything back but wait what's that noise maybe an animal let's find it what? Wait. am I dreaming it's a uh, no Renault, is that you? Yes, hello Mimi. Nora took care of me after your accident and these past few months have been taking care of her? Exactly. Were you there when Nora passed away? I was. She, she wasn't alone. She was surrounded by friends. 
She had a life full of good things, away from her family, away from you. She refused to go against your father's decision. My father, he... Nora, she forgave him at the end. So, did I drown here? You did. Nora revived you. Then an ambulance came and you disappeared from our lives. I think I remember now, my dad picking me up and the big fight with Nora. Nora told me later, much later, that you had amnesia. It wasn't your fault. I went down the river by myself. It's... it's fine now. Nora helped so many people around here, myself included. It's all behind us. She left you this box. She wanted me to give it to you. What? We made this for the picnic. <gasps> My little explorer pack. Nice. My tapes. That's that's my binder. Finally. Everything happened centuries ago, right? It did. And yet it feels so close. I can still feel the summer sun. Huh? Oh. What's this letter? I don't remember writing any that summer. Nora left you this letter. Read it. You'll understand how she felt. could be writing about how much I miss our days together. I could be crying and going on about how beautiful that summer was and what the following summers would have been like. The years after your father took you away and protected you from me were difficult and lonely. I won't lie about that. I kept thinking about the things I should have done, the things I should have said. But the past is the past. What's done is done. Oh, Mimi, my dear Mimi. I wish I could say these words to you in person, rather than in a letter. I told you once, places, objects, people have many different lives. Life is a long and precious story, so you have to write your own. Explore your life like a beautiful valley on a hot summer's day. Record the colors and the sounds around you like you did back then. Are you sure it's the same cat? 100% sure. I swear. Take a deep breath before every challenge and after every success. And more importantly, tell everyone about life, about the highs and the lows. Share it without holding back. My dearest Mimi, I'm sorry. I'm grateful. I'm leaving happy. Your Nora. That was a nice little game, though. Hear the flowing in the distance Your ears wander at the silence It's so new What else can you do? Isn't it? 
white dresses See them twice as white opposes It's all on you What else can you do? It's a great game. It was a nice little game, yeah. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. No, as a child, had the same voice actor. Okay. <laughs> Unlock the ability to replay some chapters of the game. Hey. So you can just go back and get the stickers that you missed, okay? No, it was a nice game. I enjoyed Dodonia. Dodonia was a nice game. Really enjoyed it. <laughs> 